Well, prospective home buyers don't have much choice these days. Listings are low while borrowing costs, those are still high. Nonetheless, sales are picking up, including here in Toronto. New data shows from February to March, sales jumped by more than 40% and prices ticked up as well. For more perspective on what's happening on the ground, let's bring in Develop Morrison, broker with Bosley Real Estate. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks so much for having me. Um, so give us a sense of what's happening on the ground. Is this the spring market that we, you know, we have known of years past? Is is that coming to, to bear this it's year? It's definitely do you think? a busy market right now. Mm -hmm. There's lots of buyers who are out there, and I would say the buyers who are out there are quite serious. Mm -hmm. Because it's so difficult right now to qualify for a mortgage, especially with a stress test, anybody who's looking right now, they're not tire kickers. They are absolutely serious about buying a place for whatever reason. So maybe it's their family that's ex expanding, maybe there's a shift in their family situation, but they're out in the market and they are looking to buy, hence the reason that some of the prices have gone up on a month over month basis. I mean, they're still lower than where they were last year, mm -hmm. but month over month they're up. So for all those buyers out there who are like, oh, I'm gonna wait till the bottom of the market to buy, well, they might have missed it. Oh, you think so? Well, who, who knows? I, you know, I'm not Hard a soothsayer. Mm -hmm. I don't have a crystal ball, but there's certainly a lot of those buyers out there who are like, oh, I'm just going to wait. It's interesting because, you know, if you're talking about really serious buyers that are coming with, they know their budget, they know what they're willing to do, and they have the means to do it, that probably whittles down the competition. I mean, competition might be heating up a bit, but yes. it's far different than it is well, than it was a year ago, say? Absolutely. It does whittle down the competition, but listings are low, hence the reason why now we're, we st are seeing offer nights. So we are seeing, you know, five offers to 20 offers on an offer night. I would say on a house, the condo market is a little bit different. With the condo market, we're not seeing as many offer nights or successful offer nights as we are with the housing market. But in the months to come, it'll be interesting to see what happens because at the beginning of the year, OSFI, the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, mm -hmm. had mentioned they were going to be doing some mortgage restrictions. They have a consultation period now. Once that consultation period is over, I would imagine that there will be more mortgage restrictions, which will impact the market again. That's a good reminder. Yeah. I, I, I remember covering that at the time, but it kind of uh, left my mind uh, in this moment. So there could be other challenges that people are facing in the next couple of months. I mean, it does take a long time for these things. Even the consultation, I think it was till the end of June or something I like that. It, it seemed like a long time. April, okay, so, it seemed like a, a ways in the future yeah. for the, you know, even the consultation just to wrap um, and then for something to actually come out of it. But yeah, we'll definitely be watching that. So uh, on the listing side of things, um, I guess when it comes to clients who are interested in listing, that's a difficult position to to be in right now, right? I mean, if Not you are really. seeing sales happen, no, okay. If you're listing yeah. a house right now, it's hmm. a great time to list because okay. we know that there's lots of buyers out there. In fact, I'm listing a property next week. I just met with the list with the seller, yeah. and it was we are going to be listing slightly lower so that we can take offers a week later because we know that people are going to want to buy a house in a nice neighborhood, mm. even if the house needs a little bit of work. People are still going to want it. And for condos, if it's an amazing, amazing condo, that will go. Mm. But if there's something just slightly off with the condo, that's going to sit a good three to four weeks. Okay. Uh, but if you list, then you have to buy something else, yes. uh, uh, presumably, if it was, you know, a, a home that you owned, which might be holding some people back right now. Absolutely. But people have to think about if as long as they buy and sell in the same market, they're okay. Right. They don't need to time the market and try to buy at the absolute low or sell at the absolute high. As long as they're buying and selling in the same market, then they're gonna be all right. I did think it was interesting that uh, the Toronto Real Estate Board noted that the average home price um, it ticked up above the average list price, the sale price rather, was above the list price for the first time since May 2022. Right. So again, speaking to that competition part, exactly, and those bids over over asking, which wasn't something that you know you were seeing necessarily for the past couple of months. It had then? stopped. Yeah. I would say November, December, the real estate market was dead. Like it was quiet. You couldn't even get a showing. Mm. And now showings are up drastically. I would say ever since January, we've been seeing multiple offers, we're seeing the offer dates, and yes, people are out there buying for sure. But over the last few months, showings have really picked up as well too because 
people are serious about buying now. How how do the bids sort of uh, you know over asking compare now to you know the pandemic, the heat of the pandemic? Um, you They're know, not it, as crazy. No. Okay. So back you know last year, the year prior, absolutely. When you were going to be listing low and selling for another price, it was there was a huge difference. Now the difference isn't as great. Mm. Now you might actually get offers at, at the asking price. You might get offers below the asking price. You might actually get conditional offers now, which is something that you didn't see before. I was speaking with one of my colleagues in the office the other day, and she had mentioned that because her clients showed up with the bank draft on site, they got the house, even though they weren't necessarily the highest offer. Because if you're the seller, you want something that's secure. You want right. someone who's taken the time to give you the bank draft up front. You want someone who has no conditions on their offer. And although their offer wasn't the highest, they still got the place. Right. You don't want to risk having to relist. And then why was it on the market for that exactly. long or something like that? Um, so how, what do you, uh, you know, attribute this shift to? Is it spring market or does this really come to uh, the Bank of Canada first signaling that it was going to pause uh, its its hikes for interest rates and then actually pausing like, is it more of a, an interest rate story and the Bank of Canada then I would say it's more of a supply and demand story mm. more than anything I mean when it rates increased drastically so much last year it really did stop things people were really concerned. So people still do factor in interest rates. It is still something that's on their mind. But I think as we get more and more used to rates at this level, maybe we'll realize that over the last 20 years, these rates aren't that high. It just feels high because it's higher than we're used to over the last three years. Yeah. But they're not really that high anymore. So I would say it's really a story of supply and demand because there isn't as much supply in the market, but we know that there's tons of demand. There's tons of people moving around, making life changes for whatever reason. And, and whatever else is going on in the economy, there will always be people making life changes. That means they're going to need to buy or sell.